Say man, hey man. This your boy Do It All Hall and we're back with another NBA 2K24 next gen build video. But before I get into the build, I need you guys to let me know in the comments what is your favorite or was your favorite Disney movie? What was or is your favorite Disney movie? Okay, so with this build, we have the ultimate perimeter threat, man. This build right here can do everything on the court. You're not lacking. And I wanted to make sure that you had balance. Y'all know how I do. So make sure you watch the video to the end so I can show you this masterpiece. Choose the hand of your choice and the jersey number of your choice. Let's get it, man. But before I go any further, you already know what time it is. If you don't know, now you know. It's like button time, and I need you guys to go down and hit that like button. Get this video to 100 likes. And we have a lot of links in the description, man. I need y'all to click on every last one of those links. Subscribe to the channel. Follow the page. And do all that, man. You know what I'm saying? So with this build we have the shooting guard position six foot eight for the height i know i've been going six nine a lot but this build we went six eight which six eight is a super good bill okay 190 on the weight um we still got pretty good speed on this build as well seven three on the wingspan you still can shoot you still can block shots so no need to worry about that but let's get into it so we are going to start with the finishing now the finishing is nothing really to talk about well um let's get into the most important part like the finishing is okay you know what i'm saying but we're going to go down to the defense first right because with this build i really like the fact that you do have a 79 block on this build right we have a 61 interior defense so that does allow us to get anchor on this build and we get chase down order so let's take the speed and acceleration up um right quick and i'll show you guys that you do get we're gonna take all the fit. Let's take the physicals up. Let's just let's just take the physicals up, and uh, we'll we'll adjust everything else. So okay, we have a 79 block. We got chase down artists. We got um, anchor on on bronze. We got pogo on bronze. So you will be able to block some shots. If you don't block the shots the first time, guess what? You got pogo to help you out to get that second jump right. So on the perimeter defense. We took the um, perimeter defense to an 85, which I think is a pretty good number. I have an 85 perimeter defense on a couple of bills. And um, silver clamps is not that bad. You got silver ankle braces, challenger, fast feet, pick dodger, 94 feet, and workhorse, and also gold off ball pass. So you have some good badges to help you out on the perimeter so you won't be out there just letting people run past you. I was telling my homie Joe, um last night like joe got a 94 perimeter defense but it's like he's not even there when somebody try to get past him i'm talking about there's no resistance i don't know what's up with that maybe he ain't i don't know i don't know but i was just like man your badges ain't activating or you lying about what you got on your perimeter defense because people just run by him you know what i'm saying but you know he do get a lot of steals but my my perimeter defense with 85 is it's a little bit better and i think i don't know maybe it's me i don't know but anyway, for the steal, we're going to take that to a 91. And a 91 steal does allow us to get gold glove, gold interceptor, and gold right stick ripper. Those are three, well, two bads. I like glove and interceptor. I don't fool with right stick ripper. Y'all can keep that badge. Y'all can take that out the freaking game, man. Making me use my analog like that and break my controller. You know what I'm saying? So we ain't worried about that badge, but we do have it on this bill. So that's what we have for the defense, okay? Let's go ahead and get into the sauce. And with the playmaking on this build, we wanted to make sure that we can get our own shot. Now, don't get me wrong. I do like 6'9 builds. The 6'9 builds are pretty good. But I don't like the way my second 6'9 build moved. My high flyer, I don't like the way it moved compared to my first 6'9 build, which is my very first build. My very first build moved way better than my new 6'9 build. But I don't know what's up with that. So for the speed with ball, we're going to take that to a 77 because we won't go triple strike on this build. And um, for the ball handle, we're going to take that up to an 85. For the pass accuracy, we're going to do a 70. You can do a 68 if you want to. So with the 85 ball handle, as you can see, we do get unpluckable. We got anchor break on gold. We got blow by on silver. Handle for days on silver. Speed boost on silver. Then you flip it around, we got gold triple strike. We got gold physical handles, and we got gold anchor breaker. So you will be able to move around with this build. Now, if you had the build at 6'9", uh, it would look a little something like this, uh, depending on how you do it. You have an 80, so as you can see, if you go 6'9", you'll have blow by on bronze, speed booster bronze, killer combo of bronze. But the 85 and the 77 gives us a little bit higher uh, badges, you know what I'm saying? So I think that will make a difference in the way uh, people make their bills. Um, it does make you want to have this way. 
you know what I'm saying? But if you like 6 ix 9 if you just so stuck on 6 ix 9 that you had to have a 6 foot 9 bill, then do it that way. That's totally up to you. But I don't necessarily think you can get the name Perimeter Threat at 6 9 or whatever, okay? So uh, we're going to leave it like we have it right here, and we're going to get into the um, shooting. So before we do that, I need you guys to do me a huge favor and go down there, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that share button, and let the video play to the end because that will push the video to the recommended page so everybody and they mama can see this video and y'all already know i need everybody mama to see the video so for the mid-range shot we're going to take that up to 88 right i think 88 is a pretty solid number um i was going to try to get it to a 90 um but i ended up going with 88 um a 90 is a little bit better um as you can see we got silver blinders instead of gold we got gold catch and shoot we got Silver Dead Eye instead of Gold. Uh, we got Gold Green Machine, Gold Space Creator, Spot Finders on Silver, Guard Up is on Gold, Meet the Magician Gold, um, Open Looks Gold, Comeback Kid Hall of Fame. So we have some pretty good badges when it comes to the mid range shooting that will allow us to get some good um, options when we're trying to create a jump shot. So um, that's what you want to do. You want to be able to cre create some good jump shots um, with these builds by having probably the mid range up higher than the three. Um, that's that's how everybody's doing it. But uh, one of my builds, I got like a 92 three-point shot with a like 70 some or 80 some mid-range shot. So you know, it just depends on what you like. For the three-point shot, we're gonna take that up to an 80, which is a pretty solid number to have. Um, you can take it up if you want to. You can take it down. It's totally up to you. Uh, but we do have an 80 for this build. And as you can see, like I said, we do get catch and shoot, not because of the three, but because of the mid-range shot. We get that on goal, okay? Uh, corner specialist is not going to go to goal unless you take it to an 85, so we're not worried about that. Um, agent three, same thing. You got to take that up to an 86. Um, for Claymore, to could be on goal. We got to take that up to an 82. So if you want to do that, which I do that on a lot of builds, you can go ahead and take your three-point shot to an 82 to give you guys gold Claymore if you just, like, sit in the corner a lot or you know but everybody should have that badge because it's going to be a point in the game where you're just going to be sitting there waiting on the pass you know what i'm saying so uh as far as the finishing um we didn't do too much on the standard dunk i would love to get that to a 73 but we put so much into the other categories that we had to take it to a 45 which is not all that bad uh for the driving dunk we do have that at a 75 and we have the driver layup at a 70. So we do get posterized. We do get fearless finisher. We just get a lot of bronze and silver badges with the finishing, which I don't think is all that bad. You know, you're not out there to be no type of high flyer or anything like that. You out there to get buckets and play defense, man. Simple as that. Okay, so 83 speed, 75 acceleration, 74 strength, 74 vert, and the rest is on stamina. Now let's get into these shades of are you ready? Because guess what? I do not click back. Here we go, here we go, here we go now. We got shades of Doug Christie, Mikael Bridges, and we got Devin Vassell. And the build name is the infamous Perimeter Threat. And don't forget to let me know in the comments what is or was your favorite Disney movie. And I'm out of here, man. Charge!